Coccidiosis is common enough on, on most farms uh, and, and causes diarrhea in calves, but most farmers would associate it with a bloody scour. But that is quite rare. Most of the time, coccidiosis affects the calf's growth and might cause a little bit of scour in the pen. So research has shown that across a group of affected calves, it will affect the thrive by about 19%. In the long run, that means that calves don't grow as well because they're using the energy they should be using for growing to fight off the infection and their immune system is using up that energy. Coccidiosis really is a management or a hygiene issue and when it hits a group, it's going to be the weaker calves that are mostly affected. So the calves that didn't get as much colostrum are not the best quality colostrum. Calves that might already be under pressure because of a draft in the shed, they would be the ones that show the most severe symptoms of scour and they might have the bloody scour, but you have to assume that the other calves in the group are affected as well. This subclinical or silent reduction in thrive can be disastrous on farms that don't weigh frequently as this reduction in thrive won't be readily visible, okay? We beat coccidiosis by developing the animal's own immunity. This is where all of our good hygiene practices come in. Unfortunately, with the rate that coccidia can multiply, it's often inevitable that there'll be huge burdens on seasonal calving farms. In the situation where coccidiosis is causing issues on the farm, you will have to resort to using coccidia snaps, such as dicoxin. Um, it's not just about focusing the calf that is uh, focusing on the calf that is sick, but actually all the calves in the pen will have been exposed, so they all will need a treatment. If you have a history of coccidiosis on the farm, you know uh, that that's a product that you will be using. If not, it would be worth getting a fecal sample tested uh, through the vets to identify that it is coccidiosis causing the issue, and then you can target the calves that have been exposed to coccidiosis. So when, when to those calves for coccidiosis it has to do with when they are exposed to this parasite. Um, in general, two weeks after exposure is when those things should happen. Uh, this will prevent clinical issues, but it will still allow the calves to have some sort of exposure and in the long run build up immunity against coccidiosis. Calves that do develop scour and severe cases of scour will need some support. So electrolytes and, and, and fluid will be needed to get this calf over its, its episode.